BMW is a brand that is known for many amazing powertrains. From the 3.5 liter M88, which powered the legendary BMW M1 supercar, to the more recent S58, which I made an entire video on. If you don't know exactly how great that engine is, go and watch that video after this one. But the point is, when it comes to high performance combustion motors, BMW is one of the best in the industry. Now when a company has so many amazing power plants, it's really difficult to choose one as their best ever. But you see the engine that we will talk about today is a truly special one, the S70-2. This 6.1 litre V12 was specifically designed for the McLaren F1 in the early 1990s, which is one of the best supercars ever made, designed by Gordon Murray, a legend in the world of supercars. And this engine would carry the McLaren F1 to a world record, but we will get to that later in the video. The S70 wasn't BMW's first production V12, that distinction goes to the M70 P50, an engine designed more than a decade earlier and used in the first 7 series. Interestingly, BMW would later evolve that V12 into a V16 and stick it into the 767LI that was codenamed Goldfish. But that's not what this video is about, back to the M70 in its stock form. This V12 could be described as two inline 6 engines paired at a 60 degree angle. The engine featured a whole bunch of technologies that put the car way before its time, like the fact that it could switch off a whole bank and run on only 6 cylinders. Now the M70 that was found in the 7 series produced 295 horsepower and 450 Nm of torque. Not crazy numbers, but you must remember that the 7 series is built for luxury rather than speed. All of that changed however when BMW's M division started working on the S70 P56 which would later be installed in the 850 CSI. You see, while some of the engineers at the German company were busy building this performance V12, Gordon Murray talked them into building a supercar worthy power plant that would be used in the ultimate road legal supercar, the McLaren F1. You see, McLaren was already busy designing the F1 and they had already built a prototype but they didn't have enough cash lying around to build an entirely new engine for the car. Now Murray wanted to bring his vision to life, so he tried to solve this problem by approaching other car manufacturers. Murray initially approached Honda, who was already supplying the engines for McLaren's Formula 1 team, but no deal was ever reached. Then he approached BMW Motorsports engineer Paul Roche, who as I previously mentioned was already busy working on a performance version of the BMW V12 to be used in the 850 CSI. Murray and BMW came to a deal and both sides agreed to the terms. BMW got to work building the A70-2. Now the A70 was a completely new animal. BMW bought out the aluminium 5 liter V12 to 6.1 liters. Then they went and added a whole slew of motorsports parts. The engine had forged aluminium pistons, coated bores, it had a magnesium dry sump lubrication system and even featured dual injection with two injectors per cylinder, one for low engine speeds and a second one which kicked in as you climbed through the rev range. The engine also featured dual overhead cams with BMW's own Varnos technology. By the way, speaking from experience, Varnos is cool from a performance standpoint, but from a maintenance standpoint, it's a pain in the ass. If that solenoid goes, your car doesn't know what's up, what's down, it's just a million errors. Anyways, back to the S70. To complement the Varnos system, which increased airflow into the cylinders, BMW also added a carbon fiber intake manifold, which had 12 individual butterfly valves, which helped airflow and more importantly, gave the car an amazing sound. Now all of these changes to the engine meant that the naturally aspirated V12 could produce a maximum power output of 618 horsepower at 7400 rpm and she made 650 Nm of torque at 5600 rpm. 
Murray was surprised with the engine, since BMW actually over-delivered, producing more power than he asked for. Now that engine got paired with a 6-speed manual transmission, which put the power to the rear wheels via a carbon triple-disc clutch. The whole package got installed into the McLaren F1, and the result was nothing less than incredible. The car broke and held the production car top speed record for 12 years at 221 miles per hour or 355 kilometers per hour. After 2005, when Bugatti took the record from McLaren, no company was able to keep the record for more than 4 years. The McLaren F1 is an amazing car, not just because of the brilliant team at McLaren, but also because of the amazing engineers over at BMW. Anyways, at the end of the video, do you agree with me? Do you think that this is the best BMW produced engine ever? If not, which one is? Let me know down below. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you did like this video, you'll like the other stuff on my channel as well. Um, everything is correlated. I love cars, so if you love cars, this is the place to be. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?